Lore Seekers, I am sad today because we have come to Issue 5 of Godzilla vs. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, which is the end of what has been a super fun and nostalgic story. Let's go ahead and dive in. Issue 4 ended with Goldar leading a classic group of Rita's monsters into battle against King Ghidorah right after a zillion aided Tommy's escape and returned his power coin. At this point, Ghidorah is easily handling Rita's goons and Goldar, who is busy arguing with Scorpina. The Supreme Controller reminds them, I tried to warn you, Rita. The Megazord enters the fray, and we see Tommy power up the Dragonzord. With the combined might of the Dragonzord and the Megazord, the attack commences and the Rangers push Ghidorah into the bay. Suddenly, Godzilla appears. The King levels the playing field by dragging Ghidorah down into the water. With Ghidorah occupied, the Rangers do what we have all been waiting for and power up into the Mega Dragonzord together. The Rangers open up their full combined firepower on Ghidorah as he and Godzilla resurface, which weakens his gravity beams. Godzilla joins in with his atomic breath and then slams Ghidorah into the ground. Godzilla opens fire on the Zillion craft, jolting the inside which causes Rita to fall and fracture the multiversal focus staff. Directly after, the Rangers are shocked when Godzilla turns his atomic breath against the Mega Dragon Sword. I thought we were friends, they say. A familiar voice comes over the comms channel saying it's time to come home. It's Zordon. His scans indicate that the team is together and Rita has fled the dimension. Just as the Zillions attempt to escape and reveal their next move to the audience, a familiar blue beam and scratchoom finish them off. Zordon and Alpha 5 cannot detect Rita, but know she is out there somewhere, lost between dimensions. In what is one of my favorite shots from the entire comic series, we see Rita falling through space and viewing multiple universes with cameos from Millennium Godzilla, 1975 Godzilla, and GMK Godzilla, as well as the Dino Charge and Ranger Operator series teams. Not to mention, Lord Dracon. What did you think of the series as a whole? And do you think there could be further crossovers from the different Godzillas and Ranger teams? I for one am very happy with the story we got and cannot wait to buy the physical complete book.